folks. Good evening. Um, right, so um, I, I, some of you guys already uh, know me before. And uh, okay, so um, basically, we are going, this session is going to talk about the MySQL 8.0 roadmap. As before that, I, let me introduce myself. My name is Ricky. Uh, I'm actually a, a sales consultant for MySQL in ASEAN. So, um, right, as you know, at this moment, the latest MySQL is 5.7, which already came out like about uh, one year plus. Then, so now is the, is, is the time for the new version to come out. Now, um, first, you might, no you might notice that uh, the jump in the version from 5.7 jump to 8.0. What happens? Now, it's, it's because we have another, another uh, product called MySQL Cluster. This MySQL Cluster is the, the version right now is 7.5. So, the fact that we have two different versions for two different software actually confuse uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, people. So uh, we want to simply merge it into one number, which is called 8.0. So everyone will be coming under the same version. Right. So there, in the tradition of uh, MySQL, we have uh, a lot of improvements of every single major version release. And then one of the main, uh, one of the main highlight is of course performance. Uh, later on, I will show you the benchmark against the, the predecessor and everything. Okay, just a safe harbor. Okay, yeah, I will just jump on that. Uh, basically, um, our MySQL engineers here, some of some of them are here, by the way. Uh, they have been working hard to uh, to actually build MySQL 5.7 last time to uh, to achieve three times better performance against its predecessor. Uh, we have a lot of replication enhancement. JSON also we introduced as a native uh, data type in the in MySQL. And then we are going. And then we go to uh, in ODB cluster. We introduce group replications together with shell and router to make a, to make a robust uh, active active cluster, right? And and. MySQL 8.0, we actually build on those imp uh, uh, improvements from last time. We have uh, a, lo a lot of other, a lot of things as well. We build the JSON. We add more uh, uh, JSON functions. Yeah. So uh, and then a number of other things like data dictionary, roles, Unicode, CDEs, uh, window function, and everything. Right. So. Okay. MySQL 8.0 is uh, focusing on these four, uh, uh, four area. First is mobile friendly, uh, and then uh, developer first, data driven, and uh, scalable and stable, stability. Now, um, tomorrow we are going to have a whole database track all talking about MySQL session from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, a num a different developers will actually uh, showcase uh, their own modules, right? The, the where they're specializing to cover a lot of uh, a lot of things in MySQL, a lot of improvements on MySQL 8.0 from their area. First, in the mobile application side, we actually have an enhanced GIS support. GIS. Last time we uh, uh, we 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 built this GIS capability from 5.7. And now we, we even improve it further. Yeah, some of them, like uh, we switch the boost geometry library in MySQL 5.7, so we improve it from there. We, we, we release more functions as well. Unicode, now we, uh, the default character set now is UTF-8 UTF MB4, which support emoji. Uh, Guys, everyone, when we talk about mobile, you have to, uh, you, you, you have to talk about emoji. Any one of you have not have, have not ever used emoji in WhatsApp? No one, right? Uh, if WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, definitely you use some sort, some sort of emoji, one, one or another. So now we support that. Flexibility, we have a JSON data type since 5.7. So we, have, we added more JSON functions like the aggregation as well. 
uh, and then we add MaxScale X Dev API, right? Now with this, all these improvements, we actually uh, achieve uh, the fact that we are now a document store as well. We support document store, right? So in in the case whereby you you need SQL and and no SQL together, you don't need to separate the thing. At, you, you you don't need to separate. SQL for MySQL and no SQL using, you know, no SQL database. You simply use MySQL together, and we support both of them. So we are now playing in a hybrid area, hybrid database. Right. Key features for uh, data driven is uh, in the common table expressions. We have uh, with queries. Basically, I'm 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 going this. I'm, I didn't go this, uh, I don't go this too deep uh, for because each and every one of these will be covered in more detail tomorrow by, by our developers. So what I did, what I'm doing now is to set the stage for them. They are the superstars. I'm just all talk only. <laughs> right. So uh, with uh, common table expression is uh, with clause. So with, the, with, with clause here, Actually, we open a lot of areas, a lot of uh, flexibility in in doing a queries. Yeah. Windows functions, we are going. Uh, we put this Windows function as well. This one is uh, used a lot in the OLAP, in analytical area. It makes it uh, easier for you to build to to, to have uh, this kind of uh, an OLAP functions using this. Um, developers, okay, so. This one, uh, this part is actually to make the uh, things easier for the developer to, to develop applications. Okay, so um, skip lock, no wait, right? Invisible indexes, performance schema, we actually improve, we, we put more uh, capability and more metrics in performance schema. Invisible indexes is very interesting that, uh, that, okay, and any one of you here uh, have not been using MySQL before. Everyone has been using MySQL, right? Okay. So now, I guess at, at some point in time, you will you will feel. Um, let's say, you at that time you feel. Uh, okay. Let me let let me revise my questions. Have ever have you guys ever experienced slowness uh, in your query? Last time it runs fast. Now it runs slow. So and then, and then you are thinking, oh, okay. Um, what if I remove this index and I I introduce another? Let's say I introduce another index, or let's say I want to remove this index first, and I want to see how the optimizer works. But if you remove it physically, it will impact your table directly, right? I mean, you you don't want you don't want to physically impact make an impact into your table, but you want the optimizer to think that there is no index there. You want to see how it behaves. Now you can use the invisible index. So you can make it invisible first, so optimizer doesn't see it, so it will just use it, it will just, it will not use the index. Ah, as simple as that. So at, at, at that time, if you think, oh, now, now it become a little bit faster because it is using another index somehow, right? So now after that, you can simply remove the old index that you make invisible. That's all. Okay. Set session variables. <coughs> descending indexes. Okay. Descending indexes because uh, we um, the current B three indexes in InnoDB we actually it, it was made to for a scan scan forward index. It's not made for a backward uh, scan. So now with, the, with the, this is descending index, now we have a ascend, uh, ascending index and descending index, both of them are about the same speed. <coughs> Expanded hints, we, we put more uh, ability on the hint side. Right, uh, histogram, we add more histograms, we add histograms <coughs> in the common schema. Better cost optimization, Optimizers, uh, we actually improve the optimizers. Uh, tomorrow, there is going to be a detailed talk about optimizer. Uh, transaction scheduling. Resource group is very interesting. Is that in that um, now, you are able to tie down to make a resource group. 
for different different uh, 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 purpose. Let's say you have a, let's say you have a system consisting of six core, right? You you make the resource group, resource group. One res first resource group is for is you assign to two core. Second resource group you assign to four core, four core of CPU, so different core. Now let's say you have a, you have a you have a SQL that you want to prioritize, like uh, first priority, right? Because you want it to be fast and and uh, done uh, finish fast. So you want to assign it into a resource group that have more cores. Let's say, yeah. So you can you can run the the query and then follow by the resource which resource group you want to run it on. So it will run on the let's say second resource group, which has four cores. So and then there is another less priority SQL. <coughs> you can run it on the <coughs> on the <coughs> sorry on the first uh, resource group. So it, now we have at least seven resource uh, management. All right. So. Um, to make applications more stable, now we have a uh, InnoDB clusters. Uh, this one is, is already from the 5.7. Yeah, 5.7. We have uh, this active active cluster, which is uh, which is made with uh, with the conflict detection, right? Which, uh, for on a multi primary. So it, in the in this sense that uh, all in the minimum server is three. So all these three can be can be can run a retry, and when within this you will have a conflict uh, resolution algorithm. It means to say that let's say at some point in time you have a conflicting transaction running on both on two nodes, and then when they replicate, they found out that oh, there's conflicting transactions. One of them will be rolled back. One will be. Uh, let to run and apply yeah, in order to not to break the replications. And this is already inbuilt inside. Yeah. <clears throat> so data dictionary and uh, security enhancements like role dynamic privileges, which is uh, more uh, granular privilege, yeah, and transparent data encryption. Uh, I think there is another slide on that. <clears throat> so. SQ, SQL role is basically talk about um, now we have a role. So this role is basically is uh, is uh, something that you can assign to user. It's basically for a better user management. Every uh, you guys have a, have a know the the meaning of role, right? So basically, let's say you have a you you have a you create a role, and then you put in all the privileges that necessary for this role. Right, mm -hmm. and then you have a number of user, right, and then you you want this user to have the same privilege. If you don't have this role, that means you have to assign all the privilege, all the privilege one by one, to all these users. But since you have this role, or that already have these all privileges, you simply grant this role on the user. So it simplifies the user management very much. Atomic access control as well. Um, I left the uh, tomorrow. We, we have a, this this uh, a session especially for that. Dynamic privileges is more to finer grade administrative level. So some some uh, privilege that we have at this moment uh, is very much uh, have a too much. Uh, I would say too much privilege inside one single privilege like a super privilege so but now we have more choices for this privilege instead of just one one single privilege to have a lot to have too much power TDE for logs now we have we can encrypt the redo undo and binary logs last time the transparent data encryption only only covers the data files which means that your binary the rest of these logs are not covered are not encrypted. They are still able to be read, but now it's also encrypted. Yeah. 
So and, and also enhance password op, uh, options, password reuse policy, uh, history, when you need to, uh, to, to, to actually change the password and everything, all can be set in the password options in MySQL 8.0. All right, so um, that's basically the end of, the, of my uh, presentation. It's very, it's very short, I know. And um, it is basically to set the stage for tomorrow. It's just a brief of what you have, what you get in MySQL 8.0. Okay, so um, any questions or anything that uh, you have in mind at this moment? Concerns, comments, feedback, we will appreciate it. Release already. Is it released already? Finish already. No, released already. Oh, okay. Um, it is um, launch, It is uh, targeted to be launched around two months from now, May, June time frame. May June time frame. Yeah. But these features are there in our development milestone releases, which user can try it out. Yeah, sure. I mean, if you guys want to try it out, yes. we can. You can. You can always uh, download it from mysql.com, but uh, it it is still in release candidate version. Yes. Yeah. So, but you can. Most of the features are already there. I don't. I don't really think that we have another significant new features that is going to come out soon on that uh, new uh, when it's launched. Mm -hmm. What do you think about what you what do you think about what you see in the MySQL A to zero? Anything that you think is missing there? Anything that you really want to have? Any features that you really want to have in MySQL A to zero? Anything specific to partition? To partition. Well, MySQL already have a table partitioning. Uh, we support range list. Uh, yeah, is there, yeah. What, is there any new, new features? New features. Yeah. Any new features? That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, is there any pain point of partition? Maybe you would like to know. Anything is free is missing in partition? The uh, NDB partitioning is not native. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so five or seven, it's yeah. native. Yeah. So yeah. 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 By six, it was like a separate storage in the other side of the company. By seven, you would even need Hmm. Which means your storage engine now has to support partitioning natively. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do you are looking for? My actual long back I was using with five dot five. Oh five dot five. Yes. I'm not sure if you can answer this, but <coughs> how do the MySQL and Oracle database teams interact at, at the Oracle company? I mean, well, Oracle as a database is superior in its features, right? But well, it has cost a lot of money. So, uh, do those teams work together, or or how? Or what's the dynamics between developing an open source database and uh, all right, um, I can answer that. So uh, basically, first of all, our team is is um, we have a, we have a, our own team. We are our own developer team. <laughs> Oracle database developers is never is never mixed together with the MySQL developers. Basically, in the organization structure, Oracle is sitting uh, together with its own division like Oracle database, middleware. Um, Oracle applications and Oracle systems. They are all in one single big uh, structure by itself. Mm -hmm. But for us, we are, we are actually on the side. That means uh, we are in, we, are, we, we call it a global business unit. So we are like subsidiary. And uh, we have our own line of reporting. We are not reporting to the CEO that is uh, in charge of the whole Oracle database uh, and the whole Oracle product. We are actually reporting to the, to the chief corporate architect. 
which or which directly report to the to the big boss. Yeah. Right. So uh, we have uh, our own uh, uh, line of reporting managers, directors, and everything, and we are not mixing together. There is very rarely that we have to work together. Uh, for one, probably one of the rare instances that. Uh, for the MySQL plugin for Oracle Enterprise Manager, that one is definitely you need to, to work together with the, our monitoring team. Yeah. So apart from that, we are have our own developers. They have their own developers. And then, are you friends or false with MariaDB or say Facebook's uh, branch of uh, MySQL? Okay. Do you take pictures? Do you share those? No. Um, well, I would say first of all with Maria. Maria, we um, Maria is, is used to be uh, very close, very close in terms of code with us. But now it's already diverting, uh, especially starting from 10.2 and now it's 10.4. Call it, call it if I'm wrong. 10.3. Right, 10.3 now. Not yet. Just like my SQL. Right. So we are already diverting. They have their own vision. We have their own vision. Mm -hmm. So um, you have, I have to say that sometimes, I mean, I have to say that we definitely uh, overlap with each other. So you're right. We sort of competitor. Yes. Mm -hmm. And to answer to your questions about my SQL with Facebook version, now this, our relationship with Facebook is very interesting. In the, in the sense that uh, they are basically, what they do is they take our open source code, they modify it, they put more plugins, features, and everything, and they roll it, they roll it out in their environment. All everything looks good, then what they do is they contribute the code to us. To our, not, not yes. to, to my SQL. To my SQL. So um, that means, we have to support them when we put that code into our whole uh, code. So this is like a, that. That it's like a win-win relationship with Facebook. By the way, uh, if uh, maybe you already know that Facebook uh, developers team is as big, almost as big as us, our developers team. Mm. So they are very. This, their skill is on par with us, and um, they are contributing a lot of code to us. Yeah, one of the main feedback probably. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's a, they are very, our very good friend. <laughs> and their, their MySQL for person is specialized for them. I mean, they have no point of competition, right? It's our friend. Yeah, it's, our, it's definitely our friend. And MySQL as a whole, the database template of Facebook with Mark Callahan is very, is very yeah. giving a lot of feedback to us. Uh, his blog is full of uh, a lot of technical stuff and those things that you think what you think about us is all he write there. And things that he write is, we always take uh, very seriously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for asking that. Yeah. The what? The Rocks TV. Rocks TV. Because Facebook has already migrated to 100% to Rocks TV. So are you guys porting the engine to <coughs> like Perkana already did it and Maria did it. it's already in the beta I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Um, at this okay. moment I don't hear any uh, plan to go that way. Okay. No, yet. I'm just asking. Yet, okay. yeah. So yeah. So uh, but things might change. I'm not sure. We'll see. Because we are such a good friend with them. Who knows? <laughs> thank, you. thank you, thank you. 
All right. Um, any more questions or anything? Okay. If, well, if what do you think of LSMs in general? Yeah. What? What? Is, what is <laughs> uh, the log structured merge tree. He just asked you about RocksDB. So, what do you think about the log structured merge tree? You know, you maybe want to put that in. You know, do you think Forget it. Can't comment now. <laughs> <laughs> I was just pulling out there. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 you have a lot of uh, line up of a lot of superstars here. Perform performance schema optimizer, JSON, uh, security, and DDL, data dictionary, and everything. This one is this is going to be a blast for tomorrow. So uh, come come over and uh, have fun. <laughs> right. Okay. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you, thank you very much.